Shannon Beter caused significant damage when she crashed her car into a home, resulting in her DUI and hit and run arrest. Despite the accident and aftermath being caught on camera, RadarOnline.com is told that the Real Housewives of Orange County star has not contacted the people who live at the duplex she hit. Gabby Noel confirmed to RadarOnline.com that as of Tuesday, neither she nor her boyfriend have heard a word from Beter or her team, including her attorney. Noel spoke to local outlets, revealing she was home when the crash happened and caught someone later identified as the Bravo Liberty driving away from the scene, leaving a trail of oil from the smashed vehicle behind. No one has reached out from their end, she told this outlet, adding that they shared photos of the damage with the landlord and passed along his details to police. Gabrielle said she hasn't been informed if anyone has been scheduled to come out and assess the damage to the building. The house will be fixed, she shared, adding the most important takeaway is that everyone is fine from this end. As this outlet reported, Beter was arrested over the weekend after clipping her vehicle into the residential home and driving off with her beloved dog, Archie. Police sources said she parked her car in the middle of the street and pretended she was walking Archie when officers arrived. Two sources spilled to RadarOnline.com that Beter allegedly broke her arm during the incident. An insider told us that she was allegedly on a mission to retrieve her cell phone after leaving the device at a restaurant earlier that night. Beter reportedly got behind the wheel to return to the eatery and brought her dog for the ride. The RHOC star was booked on two misdemeanor charges of DUI and hit and run. She was released without bond. And while her mugshot was taken, police confirmed to RadarOnline.com that it won't be released. Despite her legal woes, a spokesperson for NBC Universal told this outlet that RHOC will not pick cameras back up to film the fallout and Beter is still invited to BravoCon after her arrest. Her attorney, Michael Fell, released a statement on Monday, telling RadarOnline.com, I spent quite a bit of time with Shannon yesterday. She is extremely apologetic and remorseful. We will be awaiting the official information on this case as it becomes available, and Shannon is prepared to accept full responsibility for her actions.